Hello folks, in 1995, I was living in the United States and I remember newspapers all over the United States carried headlines about an 87 year old African American washer woman. Not the kind of person that you would expect to make national headlines in papers all over the country. But the reason she did was a very profound and moving reason. She had dropped out of school in grade six in order to look after uh, an ailing family member. She had never been able to go back to school. And for 60 years, she worked as a washer woman. And during that period, she scrimped and she saved a hundred and fifty thousand dollars fast forward to 1995 the age of 87 she donated a hundred and fifty thousand dollars to the university of southern mississippi in order to provide scholarships for young students trying to have enough money to get an education in other words she wanted young kids to be able to get the education she had wanted, but had never been able to get for herself. And the, the, the story of this elderly woman, the washer woman, who had scrimped and saved $150,000, uh, was a story that was plastered over papers all across the United States. And what was so moving was not the amount of the bequest, although $150,000 is a very impressive amount, but it wasn't so much the amount of the bequest, but the sacrifice involved. What, how much must she have sacrificed on her little wages to be able to save $150,000? This is the same point that Jesus was making in the Gospel of Mark, in the 12th chapter, beginning at verse 41. Mark, Jesus says this, Jesus sat down opposite the place where the offerings were put and watched the crowd putting their money into the temple treasury. Many rich people threw in large amounts, but a poor widow came and put in two very small copper coins worth only a few cents. Calling his disciples to him, Jesus said, truly I tell you, listen to what Jesus says, truly I tell you, this poor widow has put more into the treasury than all the others. Why? They all gave out of their wealth, but she, out of her poverty, put in everything, all she had to live on. What was Jesus saying here? He was saying that everyone else gave out of their surplus, their excess, their wealth. She gave sacrificially in the same spirit as that African-American washerwoman gave. I know that at this time, for you to maintain your giving to First Baptist Church, it's a sacrifice. Times are uncertain. The economy is uncertain. Your job may be uncertain, but for the Christian devotional life, for the Christian stewardship, for, for the Christian disciplined life, this is where the rubber hits the road. It's one thing to give out of our access, out of our abundance, out of our wealth. It's another thing to give sacrificially out of our poverty. I want to challenge you, I want to encourage you to continue your giving to First Baptist, uh, not simply because First Baptist needs it, although we do and, and we truly appreciate all the donations that are made, but not simply because First Baptist needs your offering, but because you need to give. You need to, to show God that you understand what sacrificial giving is. And when you do that, he will bless you and he will honor the sacrifice that you've made. Thank you for this time.